What if you haven't gotten started towards the things that you want to do because you've given too much power to the voice of doubt in your head? And what if that second guessing is the only thing keeping you from achieving what you want? I get it. We all do our best to try to save face. Nobody wants to look like a failure. Could be that it's safer just to avoid the risk altogether than put yourself out there. Yeah, I get it. But like they say, with nothing ventured, there's nothing gained. Doubt is something that we all face. Whether it's self-doubt, uncertainty about the future, or hesitation in the face of challenges, but doubt doesn't have to lead you to a dead end. Especially if you can turn it into the spark that ignites determination. But how do you move forward when doubt feels like an immovable weight? It doesn't need to be a dead end. Let's take a look at second guessing and how it sneaks up on us and how to recognize it, how to put ourselves into position to navigate around it, and how to reframe it as sort of an ultimatum to ourselves in order to leverage ourselves into the action that better serves our interests. My name's Chad Joshua and I'm a songwriter and I'm working on building a catalog of 100 songs. And if you're anything like me, you know that doing anything outside of the things that you need to do can come with a whole list of reasons to not do it at all. But like they say, nothing worth doing is easy. And, and so in order for you to do the things that you want to do, you have to get yourself positioned in a way that you expect nothing to be easy. And that certainly includes your own self-doubt and any tendency that you might have to second guess things that you're doing. I know for me, in my effort to write all of this music and create a platform online in order to connect with people who might be interested in appreciating what I've made, it requires me to be very proactive in a lot of ways in addition to just the things that you would do as a musician. One of the ways that I have decided to do that is to come on here as often as I can to discuss how we can make progress in the things that we want to do and the overlays and takeaways and that we can share in our respective interests in our respective journeys and with so many things that go into actually writing a song putting all of the time and energy into making these kind of progress videos it's all time that i take away from the other things that i need to do to bring the whole of my project into fruition so for the past few weeks i've limited myself to making content about music and even focusing on the ideation of how i could do that quite a bit less in order to get a handle on making this progress content where i can come out here and talk together with you about things that we might have in common and that we're all hopefully working towards things that are important to us respectively. And to be clear, I find doing this to be wholesome and it's resonating with me. I had someone speak to me in the comments of a video last night just as I posted it up and I had overextended myself in a sort of emotional way in that video and sharing in somewhat of a more personal way than I normally do. And whoever it was who had watched the video, no sooner had I posted the video and was just reviewing it back when I noticed someone had liked it and had posted a comment. So I looked at it and the guy said, he says, thanks. This is exactly what I needed to hear today. And immediately I was hit in a real profound way by that because I tend to be a selfish individual and, and I don't love that about myself. But in that moment, I felt so much gratification and, and haven't been the slightest bit of value to this person. And I think for an old broken soul like mine, it's kind of like just what the doctor ordered. So this is important to me in that way because if you can have any kind of a value to somebody else in that kind of way, it just resonates. It feels like I did something better than I normally do. And at the same time, I don't want to lose sight of my overall purpose is to build this platform, to share the music that I've had the compulsion to write since I was a kid. And I don't want to get to a point now where I spent decades and decades bringing myself to a place where I built all the skills that I needed to to be able to produce and write and publish and create video content for all of this music and to just hand it off. The trouble is I haven't locked in on to how to share that side of it in terms of the most efficient way to get a behind the scenes of that part of it. And I found myself really agitated, doubting the whole effort to do this as it is something that I realize comes very natural to me and something that I'm already afraid not to do and the doubt is in that if I allow that, that I'll betray myself while I don't see the path and I don't see the solution out of it. In this breath, I do suspect that, that we're sharing right now, the path will find itself and regardless of the doubt, so long as I keep moving with a healthy intention and taking action, doing my best to make the most informed decisions that I can, that eventually I'll come into sort of balance with this where I'm not living day to day, second guessing everything that I 
do to where it just makes my life miserable. And I'm sure I'm not in this alone. We all have limited resources, limited money, limited time, limited patience. And if it isn't just about being afraid of people looking down on us, you know, you put yourself out there and you're worried if people are gonna mock you and cringe at what you're doing. So if it's not all that, the doubt could stem from you just not having the extra resources to be wasted and, and just coming to a point where you're afraid of making a decision because you don't know what the best decision is to make. So how do you move forward when the doubt feels like an unmovable weight? One thing is surprisingly important, but when I read it, it made a lot of sense to me. And that is when you're in a situation like this, go ahead and take a look at that doubt and then recognize that the doubt is often just a sign that you care deeply about your goals. So once you recognize that, you can use that care that you have as a foundation for your action. Because it's sort of like when you're driving down the highway and that fog rolls in, and just because that fog rolls in and you can't see the road, it doesn't mean it isn't there, but maybe it is a okay slow down just a bit to navigate through safely because you do have to trust the process and you do have to keep moving i have to trust the process i have to keep moving in a way it's it is terrifying for me this has been a consistent pursuit it isn't a recent interest and this is an outlet for that this is for me how i meet myself and how i i bring that to reality in the way that i have doing that so uh, after decades and decades of moving towards this point to reach this point and then realizing that time is limited and realizing that if I make some mistake undermines my interest now there is no more time for starting over for me you may be a bit younger and God bless you I hope you you choose your steps well and, and I hope each step of your path has a logical progression to it I'm out here nearing the bitter end and I need to make each step count. So if you're anything like me and you're doing your best and that doubt hits you so powerfully, what do you do? You know, some people say doubt's like a shadow and that it only seems larger than it is and that if you take action and you take steps towards where it is that you wanna go, it starts to just disappear. And maybe even it can be of some use to you. What if doubt isn't an enemy at all, but a guide? What if it's just pointing out the areas that need attention for you to grow? And giving you the opportunity to deal with those areas. Maybe it's just a signal of where to focus your energy. If you doubt your skills, it's an invitation to practice. If you're concerned you're not making the right content, like in my case, start making more content. Doubt probably isn't the fire, but rather it's the alarm alerting you to take measures to fix whatever it is that you need to. Like I said, for me, with my music, I feel pretty confident with what I'm writing. I'm satisfied with it as a songwriter and satisfied with how I grow in that way. I'm building my skills as a producer and an engineer by repeatedly working through the progress of producing and mixing my songs. And the more consistent I get about my schedule and how I do a better job of keeping the ball rolling, the more reps I get in those areas. I'm sure that, that will hold true for the content. So for me to be here and have spent better part of 30 years working full-time on the craft of becoming a better songwriter and to have any satisfaction of that laying in the hands of my ability to conceive a, an interesting captivating content schedule really is infuriating but that is a discussion for another day so I don't know about you and whatever it is that you have going on and the things that come up along the way that make you think twice about going into something and getting to it but I know that you owe it to yourself to see to it because life is short we're, we're here in one moment and gone in the next and that's your license for exploring life and finding your way through it in a way that resonates with you we all have our responsibilities people that we're responsible to and as long as you're doing your best to manage all of that there's nothing wrong with you doing your best to overcoming the things that are holding you back from getting to the things that mean something to you so you keep your head up and you keep my head up and We'll keep getting to the things that we have to. We'll talk again soon.